ABC, it is discounting claims that it is delaying the official launch of its manifesto for the purposes of plagiarizing ideas of the new patriotic party. It argues that the NPP and its recently launched manifesto will not influence the NDC in any way. Speaking exclusively to Joy News, the National Communications Officer Sami Jemfi, who described the NPP's manifesto as a collection of falsehoods, claimed that the NDC is still within its shadow and will present a people-driven manifesto. We are within the party's 2020 campaign timetable, so it hasn't taken long at all. Um, what needs to be done must be done well. Okay, We don't want to bring a manifesto which will be full of, of palpable falsehood, a manifesto which will be full of um, um, promises which simply don't make sense, like we, you saw in the MPP's 2020 manifesto, where they were promising to establish investment funds which already exist, you understand. And so the manifesto has been ready for more than a month, but the um, constitution of the NDC requires that some stakeholder consultations take place before the manifesto is launched. And that is why the statement which announced the 7th September date as a launch date for our people's manifesto indicated that we have decided to reschedule the launch to 7th September to allow the Council of Elders of the Party and the National Executive Committee to take a look at the manifesto, uh, make their inputs before it is launched. So we are not late at all, we are within schedule, we are within time, and come Monday 7th December, we will be presenting the People's Manifesto, we will be launching the People's Manifesto, you know, uh, for Ghanaians to appreciate its contents. But rest assured, you are going to see the far-reaching policies that have been announced by His Excellency President Maham already, like the free primary health care policy. The MPP has never been a standard for the NDC. And so um, this is not going to be a manifesto which will be countering the, the, the MPP's manifesto. We have said that the MPP's manifesto is nothing but a compendium of recycled, broken promises. It is nothing but a compendium of blatant forces calculated for votes and not intended to be kept. They have flattered, flattered to deceive on 86% of their 2016 manifesto promises. 86%. Okay. And so they can never be a standard for the National Democratic Congress. We are coming with a manifesto which is full of hope full of inspiration, full of far-reaching, well-thought-out transformational policies.